What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, and if you guys didn't believe me earlier when I said I have the most fire VGC content on YouTube, I am literally ahead of the curve. Check this out, check this out, you ready? That's just my new merch, I'll get to that in a second. If we go to Pokemon Showdown, and we try to look up Urshifu, we can't get him. Do you want to know why? Because they haven't updated it yet. You know what that means, right? I am probably going to be the first person to make an Urshifu moveset guide because I'm going off of the data mine right now that uh, I actually got uh, thanks to um, this guy on Twitter. I'll actually link him in the description down below if you guys want to read it yourself. But because I actually don't do a lot of moveset guides completely via Showdown, like I have my own layout, I'm not restricted by that. I put a little bit more effort, I get to get my video out a little bit sooner. So today I'm going to be giving you guys a moveset guide on both forms of Urshifu, which is going to be really cool. This Pokemon is absolutely busted, let me explain to you why. Urshifu, his ability, we, we all knew what it did. I made a little meme about it. It's able to bypass Protect with any physical move, and we thought that that would be like, you know, when you go through, a, when you go through like, a Protect with a max move, how it would decrease the power. It does not. It does not decrease the power. It's the full power. It just completely ignores Protect. So if you guys are hyped for Urshifu, go ahead and leave a like. Let's try to reach 200 likes on this video. If not more, if you're new to the channel, subscribe because I make VGC content. But yeah, let's get into it. So there are two forms of Urshifu. There are Single Strike and Rapid Strike. Uh, I'll just call them Water and Fighting, or Water and Dark, uh, also known as Poliwhirl and Scrafty if you want to take a look at it that way. So the first set I have for you guys is for the Rapid Strike version. Uh, this set is going to be Choice Band, and the reason I think Choice Band is actually super, super good uh, on this Pokemon is because it has a decent speed tier. If you see right there, it has 97 speed, uh, which is slower than Charizard, but that, that's the only relevant thing that's faster than it that it loses to. Uh, Charizard is able to hit it with a flying move, so be careful with that. Uh, but 97 speed is actually a really decent speed tier in this format. Uh, Surging Strikes is a super powerful move. It's 25 base power with each one of its hits uh, having a guaranteed critical hit, which by the way is um, a 50% boost on that and it hits three times. So I did the math. Uh, each time you click this move, it's effectively a 112 base power water type move. And that's with no drawbacks. That's with no drawbacks. It ignores Focus Sash because you hit him multiple times and it, it critical hits each time. So you break through you break through defenses. It's, it's amazing. It's such a cool move. Uh, that, that's a really strong move. It's better than Liquidation. I almost put Liquidation on this thing until I realized that Surging Strikes is better. Uh, you have Close Combat here. Close Combat is a great fighting type move. You could opt to run a different fighting type move, but I think if you're going to go with a Choice Band set, go ahead and run Close Combat. Uh, it's really strong. Uh, coming off of a 130 base attack stat, it's super, super powerful. U-Turn is great because if you're running Choice Band, uh, it's really easy to have your opponent say like, okay, I, I know it's Choice Band, I want to switch out. You can U-Turn in that thing. Uh, you can get right back out. You can have some nice uh, momentum building there. Uh, and the last move is Preferential. I think Iron Head is really, really nice on Choice Band because this thing is super, super fairy weak. Uh, and one of your best ways of beating it is going to be with Choice Band. Iron Head, if you want to run Poison Jab, you do have that option. However, I personally feel that you gain more from going for Iron Head because Max Steel Spike will benefit Urshifu where uh, Max Ooze will not. It, you're not going to be using that base 63 special attack stat. Speaking of which, this thing's got a garbage special defense. So this, this next set's going to make up for it, but they really, really nerfed this thing on the special defensive side, and uh, we got kind of lucky with one of the calcs that we'll get into in a minute here, but yeah. Uh, the final move that I would recommend if you don't want to go with Iron Head is going to be Aqua Jet, because Aqua Jet, 40 base power, you go first, uh, it's not a bad deal. You can actually clean up some games with that. Uh, let's say that there's a Charizard on the other side of the field, it's, a, it's at about 30 health, or even I think 40% health, or even 50. With a Choice Band, Adamant Nature, you're going to be knocking it out with uh, Choice Band Aqua Jet, which is really, really nice. Uh, you can go with either a Jolly or Adamant Nature. We're not too sure because the meta hasn't developed yet. Uh, we are still seeing how each of these Pokemon fit within the metagame, but it's so busted knowing that this thing's able to bypass Protect with its, er, with its contact moves. And you're only going to be running contact moves pretty much. Like, all of these moves make contact, which is really, really nice. Oh, and before we get into the next uh, moveset, I'm actually going to go ahead and plug my merch that I completely forgot to. I got this sick merch created by my buddy Atrix MJ, who's going to be linked in the description as well. It's 19 bucks for a t-shirt, or you can get a higher quality print for like 35 or a sticker for like 8 bucks. but it's meant to commemorate the VGC 2020 season with all these Max Rock Fall spamming Pokemon. I thought it was a really great t-shirt, and I think it's a really fire design, so thank you to Atrix for designing that. 
Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Uh, let me know what you think about the t-shirt. And let me know what you think about Urshifu. But back to the movesets. Back to the movesets. Next up, I actually have another one for the water moveset. I have two for each. This one is going to be an assault vest. And originally, I'm like, Marcos, why, are you, why don't we make it so this thing is guaranteed to take Thunderbolt from Rotom when you slap on that assault vest? So I was going to creep the HP. I was going to creep the HP to make sure I live that. As it turns out, you only need 4 HP. And with that assault vest, you're guaranteed to live Modest Max Special Attack Thunderbolt from Rotom, which you're weak to, which is really nice. So for this set, I would recommend Jolly Nature, uh, mostly because that speed is super nice. Surging Strikes, once again, your best option for a Water-type physical move. Close Combat or Drain Punch. The reason I put that or Drain Punch there is because with the Assault Vest, you might want some recovery. Uh, you're not quite as offensive as that uh, Choice Band set, but you still are running that max attack. Uh, drain Punch is nice for getting a little bit of health back on Lapras or something. Like, let's say you need to 1v1 a Lapras. Uh, chances are they're going to two-shot you, or one-shot you, actually, um, if you, like, lower your Special Defense or Close Combat, so... Uh, you lower your special defense, they hit you with a max move, you have really really bad special defense, you're probably going down, so that drain punch might be your better option. U-turn once again is great for board positioning and uh, momentum building, and your last move Iron Head once again just to deal with those pesky fairy types that are going to be messing with you when you're running this Pokemon. Uh, not too much going on there, like I said this thing's actually guaranteed to take modest max special attack Thunderbolt from Rotom Watch, which is super super nice. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be moving on to the Dark-type Urshifu now, which I think is not going to be quite as viable. However, I do think it will have a place in the format. We'll start off with that one. It's Assault Vest set. This one I did actually creep the HP. So, um, we're going to be running a Jolly Nature with 196 attack, 60 special defense, and 252 speed. I said HP, but it was actually more efficient to do the uh, special defense. So, the moveset we're running is Wicked Blow, Close Combat, U-Turn Iron Head, uh, U-Turn or Iron Head, and Sucker Punch with, of course, the item, the Assault Vest. So Urshifu, its Dark-type variant gets the move Wicked Blow instead, which hits one time, but it's 80 base power with a guaranteed critical hit, effectively making it 120 base power, which is really, really good. 120 base power for a Dark-type move, uh, and because you're a you know, and because it's a critical hit, uh, you get to ignore stat boost. There's no reason to run Darkest Lariat right over that, since the critical hit effectively does the same thing. Uh, except, I guess, Darkest Lariat can crit on top of that. Like, that's the only way you would somehow justify it. But still, 120, it, it's stronger. <laughs> Your other moves are going to be Close Combat. Um, Assault Vest, you could, once again, maybe run Drain Punch. I meant to put that there. Uh, if you decide to run Drain Punch, so be it. it it's the same reasoning as the other one, uh, just for recovery and such. U-turn and or Iron Head. Uh, th this time I said choose between U-turn or Iron Head because Iron Head is great for dealing with those fairies, but you also have the option of just getting the board positioning going. Uh, you can U-turn on the fairy since you're running max speed anyways. You'll be able to get out of there most of the time since there aren't many fairy types faster than Urshifu. And Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch, I think, is a, is a must on this set, mostly because Dragapult is going to be faster than you. If it decides to go for a max fly, uh, even though you have that great... Uh, physical bulk with uh, 100 in HP and 100 in defense. Uh, I just don't think that it's in your best interest to stay on that, in, on that sort of thing. Like, it just doesn't seem like a good use of your Pokemon. So, um, either get out of there or Sucker Punch it for huge amounts of damage. Like, 130 attack, Sucker Punch is going to do massive damage to Dragapult, if not just knock it out. But yeah, I think this is actually a really solid set. Uh, the reason I crept the HP that way is because with this spread in particular... Uh, let me make sure I actually calc that correctly. Uh, yes, you're going to be taking four special attack Togekiss, like defensive Togekiss. Uh, you're going to be taking that thing's Dazzling Gleam as long as it's a spread move. So that allows you like a little bit of leeway if they try to make a call. Uh, it'll let you live that hit just barely, and then you'll be able to get out of there with U-Turn or maybe knocking out with Iron Head, because Iron Head uh, would be a one or two shot, depending on if you got any chip damage on it, which is really, really nice. So yeah, that's the reason we uh, EV'd it this way. The next set I have for you guys is going to be the final set. This is actually just going to be Life Orb, Jolly, Urshifu, uh, Wicked Blow, Close Combat, U-Turn, Iron Head, and either Protect or Sucker Punch. The reason you would either run Protect or Sucker Punch is because you got Protect, you can make some calls. Like, you could also just drop U-Turn or Iron Head for Sucker Punch. Like, it, it can go in either, any one of those slots. Um, Protect is nice to have on Urshifu because, uh, like I said, there are a lot of powerful special attackers in this format. You can protect on a Dazzling Gleam coming off a Togekiss or something, allowing you to uh, identify that it's going to want to go for that move, or maybe even just uh, deal with it with a partner Pokemon like uh, Sludge Bomb Venusaur or something. Uh, but yeah, the Life Orb is nice for getting massive damage on everything. Life Orb Sucker Punch, I can guarantee that thing's going to knock out Dragapult in one hit. 
uh, Unseen Fist too. It's not like um, anything. It, like Dragapult is such a problematic Pokemon uh, for a lot of teams, like weakness policy stuff. So having a powerful Sucker Punch Pokemon in the format is so, so nice. I'm like really excited to use this thing and just bypass and protect. I don't know why I can't get over that. You bypass protect with this Pokemon's moves. It's so busted. And yes, it is VGC legal. I want to clarify that. They actually said bring it to uh, official events when uh, they announced it. I feel like I'm getting off track here. It, it's literally the same moveset as before, but it's it's just so strong. It's so strong. I don't know how much I can gush over this Pokemon before it gets annoying, but yeah. If you guys enjoyed this at any point in time, or if you found it helpful, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new to the channel, guys. I make VGC content. I make the best VGC content, trust me. Uh, join the Discord in the description and check out the merch. But yeah, if... Uh, yeah, I guess have a nice night, guys. I'm just so excited for Urshifu. Let me know what you guys think about in the comment section down below. Have a nice one. Bye.